Today is Friday, May 6th, 2016, and we're honored to have Palm in the studio with us today. Whenever you guys are ready, I'd love to hear your first song. Audio Tree Live. We're excited to have Palm in the studio with us today. That was awesome, you guys. Um, when you first started out, I know you met each other a while ago, but did you play mostly DIY spaces like basements and house venues? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. We, yeah, we met in college. So our first like 20 or so shows were at the school in a garage type venue and cool. at houses around the town we lived in. That's awesome. Do you per, like do you prefer playing house venues and DIY spaces versus an actual like bar, or does it does it kind of I know they're very different atmospheres. Kind of depends on the mood. Yeah, and the, and the space. I mean, true. Like sound at like a act like venue venue is often better, but like true. Often kind of a weird sterile environment also. Yeah, you get that grunginess of, like, the DIY spaces are kind of cozy in that way, I guess. Yeah, I, I like them both um, a lot. I think, like, uh, it, 
it depends obviously on the type of vibe the space has or the types of people that come out because I think both both have their disadvantages with types of like engagement that people might have when they go for sure yeah no you can get kind of like sketchy sound and like basement venues and stuff you never really know what you're gonna get but it can be fun you know and it's all ages probably too so that's another important thing yeah yeah that's awesome um well you guys can lead into your next song whenever you're ready
You're here on Audio Tree Live, and we're in the studio with Palm. Whenever you guys are ready. Did you want to change your string? Yeah, did you break a string? Yeah, did you want to change it? Totally, yeah. Hey, that's the beauty of a live session. <laughs> it's good you guys were playing hard. The guitar player broke, broke her string, so we're going to have her replace that. But uh, you're here in the studio with Palm from Philadelphia. Um, their album, Trading Basics, is available online right now. That was released through Inflated Records and in Splo Exploding in Sound Records. Um, so you can definitely check that out online. These guys are playing the Empty Bottle here in Chicago tomorrow night. So if you're here tomorrow, May 7th, totally check that out. Um, it's going to be an awesome show. Um, but aside from that, you guys, I love that song. Um, that song's called Ankles. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. You have an experimental, like almost math rock sound. Um, you were conceived as an instrumental project first, right, before you started adding vocals? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. That's really cool. Yeah. Was it difficult to add vocals to that? How did that change up your songwriting process? I feel like we kind of just like re-sorted out everything because originally it was just me and the two guitarists and it was instrumental and then we added Jerry on bass at the same time as we started trying to make songs that were a little more concise and had vocals. So. Cool. Yeah. No, I mean, I kind of, I guess you have to kind of work with what you have, you know, and try to make it. I mean, did that change up the genre at all? Because do you classify yourself as a math rock band when people ask? No. Yeah. No. We get it a lot, though. I'm sure. Because your music's pretty c constructed pretty carefully, so I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and there's a big math rock scene in Philly, too. So I'm sure that makes sense. How are we doing with the string over there? You don't listen to it? Like, we we all came together not knowing how to play our instruments that we play really so for sure um, so that was just like the way we figured out how to write <laughs> it's just playing off of each other you know and that's really cool we play a lot of different types of music and I think that's just like rubbed off are you guys self taught uh, yeah I, I am I, I'm self taught I'm, this is I've I've only picked a bass for Palm I've never played bass really before. yeah. That's super cool. Definitely self-taught. Yeah. Well, you learned fast. Impressive. How are we doing with the guitar string? All set. All set? Of course. No problem. Yeah, whenever you guys are ready, you can jump into your next track. Thanks. Let's rock.
tuning in to Audio Tree Live. We're here in the studio with Palm today. They're on tour from Philadelphia. Um, so if you could, if you could choose one musician, instrumentalist or a singer, to follow you around in everyday life and kind of narrate the soundtrack of your life, who would, who would that person be? Like, for instance, for me, I would probably, this is corny, I would have Gwen Stefani walk around with me or even like the full No Doubt band just because I love them that much and <laughs> never get sick of their music. The first thing that comes to mind for me is like Neil Young because a lot of the music I like, I would probably like go insane if I was hearing it all the time, but I can kind of always listen to Neil Young. You can kind of, you'll never get sick of him. You can, you think he would narrate the soundtrack of your life accurately? Yeah. I might make better choices, too. <laughs> there you go. He's a good influence on your life. That's good. Yeah. Uh, maybe Lee Hazelwood. Lee Hazelwood? Yeah. Cool. That's an interesting choice. <laughs> Elaborate. Why? Why? Oh, he's Lee. just so cool and yeah. uh, relaxed about everything. There's not really any stress. Um, right. I think he has... He has got... I think you would just be like a very fun person to yeah, be around all the time. It would keep the stress levels low. I really like, like his mustache. It's, yeah. so <laughs> it's mainly about the mustache, of course. That's really cool. Jerry, do you like Yeah, I was the uh, first one that came to mind <laughs> funny that he said Neil, yeah, similar. I guess I said Leonard Cohen. I was thinking it would be pretty nice. Pretty chill. Talks about some deep shit, I guess. I don't know. There you go. He'd keep you grounded. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, very like wise choices. Yeah, just yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the wise. Yeah, cuz you don't want to get sick of the music either, you know, if it, they're following you around every day. Yeah. No solid choices. <laughs> if you guys want to lead into your next song whenever you're ready for it.
We're here on Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio today with Palm. Uh, you guys are on tour. Um, you've got quite a few stops on your tour. I notice when you're in the road, like when you're on the road for long distances, who who in the band mans the playlist? You guys keep the tunes going. I would say mostly Hugo and Kazra. Um, we cool. man the podcast. Yeah, I was going to say even yeah. I usually trying to listen to podcasts. A L- little bit of everyone. Time. Yeah, we all. We all do like it yeah. all, obviously. Cool. You said podcasts? Yeah, podcasts. Yeah, listen to a few. That's awesome. Yeah, we're always looking for a new podca- podcast. Yeah. What kind of podcast do you listen to? Really, like, I feel like we listen to a lot of Radiotopia networks, like a, but we've been listening cool. to Criminal lately, which is a really good one. Highly recommended. Yeah, we've been also trying to do audiobooks, but nice. uh, I guess like failing at it. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, I mean, since we're in Chicago, we might as well say that we, we tried to read out, or tried to listen to um, Dreams of My Father. Oh, okay. We Barack Obama. Yeah. We you almost go. finished it, too. Yeah, almost. But. Really? Audiobooks are probably soothing. It's really a nice, a nice break. I almost feel like I might fall asleep listening to audiobooks. Yeah, not good when you're driving. Right. Yeah, we were uh, <laughs> trying to read Lord of the Rings aloud for a bit. Uh, That's really A fun. couple of tours ago. Yeah, it is fun. That's cool. Yeah. See, that one's different because it's adventurous and there's, like, action and things going on. There's also songs in the book. Really? Yeah, so... That's cool. Yeah, you can... Is it like <laughs> Lord of the Rings, the musical? Yeah, there's so. just these weird like folk songs in different parts of the book. It's funny. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess you got to switch it up. I mean, especially like, what's your longest ride look like? Six uh, hours? We did nine, like a nine-hour one yeah, already. I think. A couple days. That's pretty long. Yeah. 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 Well, you got to take turns driving. So if you fall asleep to those audio books, <laughs> at least you can. <laughs> you got you got a band. Um, awesome, you guys. Well, I love your stuff. I'd like to hear one more song if you're ready. Yeah. Cool.
tuning in to Audio Tree Live. We had Palm in the studio with us today. A lot of those songs they played are off their latest album, uh, Trading Basics, which is available right now. They play The Empty Bottle in Chicago tomorrow, so definitely go check them out. I want to thank the viewers for tuning in live today, for our awesome crew for working their magic, like always. Until next time. <laughs>